this is a year that's obviously been different in, in so many ways. How is the holiday shopping season going to look different? There are going to be a number of ways that it's going to look differently, particularly in the sense of digital tools, hand sanitation stations, and other mechanisms that businesses are going to put in place, not only to increase customer comfort, but also to provide a sense of stability and normalcy to sort of incentivize those shoppers uh, to spend more money than, than they otherwise intended to, just as we've done in years past. So in a lot of ways, we're going to see uh, deeply discounted items to encourage those consumers who might be a little bit un lacking in confidence with regard to their jobs or the current economic forecast. We're going to see some uh, additional tools used to incentivize additional spending beyond discounts, uh, possible uh, lengthy financing deals and things like that. But also, of course, um, people are going to be stressed. <laughs> That makes sense. One of the, I, I think, in my personal opinion, one of the most stressful days in the holiday shopping is the one that kicks it off, and that's Black Friday. Do you anticipate seeing a lot of changes to that specifically? We've already seen changes in how people shop. So I think Black Friday is not going to be any different. We've already expanded. Uh, of course, you know, you hear the Christmas music uh, earlier and earlier every year. And so we, I think we've seen the stores saying with their need to increase revenues and sort of offset some of the lost jobs and lost consumer confidence, we're going to see those sales expanding past a specific day. So we've already seen many stores opening up earlier and earlier in the same way. I think we're, this year we're, we're going to see people uh, shopping online. We're not going to see as many lines. We're going to see uh, some of these stores using tools such as QVision to sort of heat map and um, exercise that ability to manage how many people are in stores and sort of queue them up, line them up outside. So I think there will be lines. I think people will still want that sense of community, but I also think there won't be as many people shopping in person. And I think the stores are going to be a lot more rigid about how many people are allowed inside, which hopefully at least will reduce some of those uh, wild stories that we've heard from Black Fridays of the past. That makes sense. Retail has been hit so hard by the pandemic, traditional retail especially. We know e-commerce is, is doing all right, but what does this mean for Black Friday? It had already been waning, kind of losing ground to e-commerce over the past couple of years. Is this the last one? This could be the death knell. COVID could, could be signal, signal that death knell of, of Black Friday as a signature experience for shoppers. We're much more reliant on our digital devices. We're much more comfortable with shopping online. We've seen a number of incentives with online shippers, that free shipment, expedited shipment that give people comfort. Uh, and we've seen quite a few uh, concerns about people's health and safety, um, even beyond the pandemic. And so I think these mass congregations are sort of, we're already, as you mentioned, waning. And now this pandemic is probably going to be the end of a signature event where consumers go out in exodus. Additionally, people are working from home much more frequently. So the idea of needing a holiday to actually venture out to do this shopping, not as necessary. You can do it on Monday. Um, I've noticed that myself, <laughs> that people are shopping in the times when professors are only supposed to be out. So uh, it's, it's definitely going to be a, a change in the, in the consumer behavior from this year forward. I work the morning shift, so my normal shift is 2 a.m. to 10 a.m., and I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm used to having grocery stores to myself at 11 a.m., and I'm like, who are all you people? Go right. back to your offices. You need jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Was there anything else that you wanted to add that you think would be really relevant to this conversation? Uh, I, th I think we're seeing the, the pressure for those digital tools and those analytics to be brought to the forefront. So I think we are going to see uh, quite a bit of, of measurement as far as people spending. I think people have always overspent. That's part of our consumer culture. So I don't even think that consumer confidence is going to substantially reduce in a way um, that people will, will be happy to provide a positive holiday for their family and friends. And so I, I don't think it's going to um, be insignificant but I think it's going to be minimized. And I really do agree with you that this is probably the last year that Black Friday is, is going to be mentioned uh, even as a signature event.